Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rusersi and today I'm here to talk about my time with a new turn-based strategy game called Steamhounds which is being developed by Stray Basilisk. I was instantly attracted to the 2G visuals which harkened back to the early 70s and 80s and instantly gave me a whiff of nostalgia. It was only when I got deep into the gameplay did I realise that this is all a cover for a very well designed modern mechanics that's been placed within. From the beginning you get to choose from multiplayer, local or bots. Being apprehensive I went for bots of course. You are then asked to choose three characters to take into battle from a current selection of five. However, I spotted another five placements and the developers have confirmed more characters are inbound. These characters each have their own unique traits which are similar to your standard classes i.e. heavy hitter, healer etc. However, they also have a unique stance ability which in turn can completely change the way you use your character. Battles take place on a fixed scenery screen populated by two sets of 3x3 grids. You start by placing each player's characters down on the grid before starting the battle. Careful positioning is important as many characters' attacks can only attack from a particular row. Now this is where the fun begins and you realise there's more to this game than originally thought. Characters take turns like any classic turn based game with an action phase, a movement phase and as I said earlier a new stance phase. The action phase is your active ability i.e. attacks and healing. The movement phase is your placement of your character which in turn is critical as they can provide some advantages to each team member. In the game I played, I often positioned my ranged character behind my heavy hitter, which in turn buffed my ranger's physical defence. However, it's your stance phase that can really shake things up. This phase is made up of reactions, such as attacking the person who attacked your ally, or buffing a selected ally before a strike. Using these abilities changed the way I used my characters, and in turn, help me see them more as a team rather than a collection of random heroes. Now visually the game's 2D sprites and low texture backgrounds oozes back to a time when gameplay was the main focus rather than the graphics. And because of this you warm more to the characters in a way I think modern graphics would detract you from. Ease of play here is a great advantage and I challenge anyone not to be able to pick up this game and not get hooked. It's easy to pick up but hard to master and this is the game's ethos and one that I truly appreciate. Steamhounds is currently early in development and as of yet no release date has been stated. For those wanting to support the game however or get more information you can follow the developers on Twitter. They even have a Discord which if joined will get you access to a demo build of the game. I personally recommend you do so. Well ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you like this hands on. If you'd like to support the developers, I have left links in the description bar. Please like, share and subscribe. And I hope you have a great time gaming. Until next time, I'll see you again soon.